Ifrim <laughs> I prefer baby. I am the baby. I don't know where the pan is. I don't know Oh, I'm not going to go home. I'm 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 going Na emwa eha nkoswo amen amen i am subtenant dixon usuamia the officer in charge of the edra camp prison in fact a joseph pentecost church has impressed me today for having in mind of donating the various items for the inmates of the edra camp prison and I pray for the church that all that they have donated, the God Almighty should let it double for them in hundred or thousand foods. At the moment, Pentecost Church gave us a target of 240 inmates and we are having a 240 but since this place is a camp prison every day we will be having discharges so at this moment we are now having 230 inmates we were 231 one just discharged this morning so we are now 230 inmates and the challenges we are having, the church has just solved some of the problems. It is feeding because the 180 city, uh, one city, 80 persons that the government is been giving to the inmates. Looking at the current economic situation, is insufficient. So when we get donations from philanthropists like what the Pentecost Church has done for us today, it will go a long way to help the service in general. So we thank them so much. So some of our challenges too. I, I won't say so much. The items that they are brought, I am urging the whole public that whoever sees or hears of what the Pentecost Church has done for the drug camp prison should also have in mind to come and support us. Because it is said in the Bible that when I was in prison, you did not visit me. And now they have visited us. They have shown love and compassion to the inmates. So we thank them so much. What I will add now 
is that the church has done so much. Has done so much. And yet, as we say in a in an adage, we need more. So whatever could touch anybody's heart that they want to do for the prisons, especially a drug camp prison here. Yeah, the person is always welcome to help us in all aspects of living. Thank you. I'm Pastor Eric Jacham, the district pastor for Ejusso Church of Pentecost. Uh, as Christians, it is our responsibility to take care and also be responsible for those who are in prisons. So today we decided to visit the inmates, preach the word of God to them, and also donate towards their welfare. So this morning we came around as a sign of love to the inmates and also as our responsibility as Christians to visit those in prisons. That is why we came here this morning. This our advice that Looking at the inmates, we were very disturbed because they are very young people within the working force, but they are now in prisons. So we are, all, we are saying that young people who are, are at home should be careful of their actions so that they will live a life worthy of Christ, so that they will not be part of those in prison. And those in prison, we have encouraged them that they should have hope in Christ and also make up their mind that they are going to live here as changed people. We have been told that they are learning trade here. So we have encouraged them that every trade that they are learning, they should put seriousness into it so that they will come out as professionals, so that they will no more come back to this place, but go out to do something for themselves and also help the communities where they are coming from items we gave out this morning to the prisons is 6,586 Ghana cities. 6,586 Ghana cities. They are foodstuffs, clothing, other accessories like hose, Wellington boots, um, um, medications and other things that we think will be of importance to them to the general public that looking at the daily income given to the inmates as one city 80 pesos is not enough so churches individuals can also come in to support them so that their stay here will be better because even if they fall sick it will still come back to the state to take care of their health needs. So if you are able to support them by giving them food to eat so that they can have a healthy lifestyle here, I think it will go a long way to help both the leadership of the prison and the entire country as a whole. What we are going to say is that we want to advise our young men and women at home to live their lives according to the will of God. And I know by living according to the will of God, they will not find themselves in the vices in our societies, like theft, drug addiction, and other forms of things that will lead them to prisons. But we pray that they will live a life that will be very right by obeying the laws of the state and doing things that are right so that they don't find themselves one day in prison. Amen. My advice for the young men and women of our country is that life without Christ is full of crisis. So at their tender age, if they give themselves to Christ and see him as the Lord of their life, they will have a better future. And they will save themselves from most of these challenges that brings them to prisons. So we are advising young men that they should spend their life or spend their time searching for Christ and living their lives according to his role. By doing that, they'll have a better future for themselves and Ghana will be a better place to live. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I am uh, Isaac, Elder Isaac Biafe. 
uh, Joshua District Evangelism Leader. And we, we, we thank God today for uh, a very, very, very nice and beautiful occasion we had with uh, Ejuakam Prisons. Uh, at the long run, after we having service with them, we were able to win 125 souls, 25 of which by the grace of God, they are all willing to be baptized. And in fact, we are so grateful. It is evangelism ministry and uh, the district ministry and also the women's ministry that collaborated to do such thing for God or for Christ. And we are so grateful. In fact, we hope that after this program or activity we've had with them, they will take Christ and they will come out and it will, they will impact the society with Christ. That is our main motive for us being here, so that they wouldn't come back to our various community and environment to do what they did for them coming here. So we pray that it is our prayer that God will help them to be people to change our society. When they come out, we pray that they will be people that they can make an impact to our society. Then people will look at them and say, that, "Ah, is it not the guy who did this and sent to the prison? But we know by Christ who is in us and he is our hope of glory. We thank God for such a wonderful and with the help of our other executives and the district pastor and the area head. We are so grateful. Thank you very much. Yere nyame ase wo fan ene ena odeche ye nyina ne se ye eju so eju so evangelism ministry just the spirit evangelism ministry ne emeku uh, ministry no and I kuwa a war a just so mention with the church of Pentecost and I yeah yeah Jane who a say a neno a yes a yinina yeba ne yes and the dear for to say the Bible can say me quite fias no one me shaman ninina no hrs one a day fias no so whom here my Christ one a ne yena and penny for a yeba you will be a not walk on them so a yamia dom a ne or ya sorry penny a no dear dance ye a ma we are seeing in a whoone prisoners and who are actually won't cry a no mono near yeah, Kenyan and said, Nyoma, you're the body in Tiba, and they say, Ubuha or the ha, a Janis, who been your beard in the yas, and because Ubuha near Tonu Pershi, because say Yachin in Tia Befias and Abusian in Shenibu, with near Busan, and need us when you answer, and no, no, na ye per se, your chicher won't re. Na ye bahano, be bring swinging a rechitry. Now ye shen Nyoma, ye the bar, Marcus and Mohu, a be a panwa, ye the bar, and a morning and one near ye dinner near ye in Tadden and Pabonina, ye the bar, Nyoma de Bayer for a dradi in him some year for pa, because near Nimine say. A drop camp prisons so Ramona a seven almost gone ahead you know, with beans in maize ne and your ma akano. And no tina yes yeah the wallantin boot ne a so ni na beba no so abwa na a ye a juma de abwa or my gana prisons. Na no kwasa mena say ye bayano say ye be sha won so na ye pese ye di crystal so ema on. Na no kwasa mena say ye di crystal so do ya ni panodo so pa almost three hundred inmates. Nan so nya mia do me mono ye nya on na wa ye wellen and as well quando so befe crystal one hundred and twenty five souls. No kwasem na ye ni Ajapa, ah, and yet or Shasun near the mouth. How are assembly about a ban? Now be brave, Amma one Sasso, Amma Christ to say, and Ned Dane, Omdo Mohammed Christo, and some of my kind say, from here no Omoqua Bontia, Omobay and Satra, Bofo, and Nam and Ne Assem Papa, or Martinti, Omobanya and Satra, a Bofo, no Cassaman say, Ye and Wetchinon so, or my well and say, Ye Bo, Messua, a sofa non so, a woha, Yamia Duma, a subon so, a de air coso, na ya bo or Messu. Yet do be be as no Cassam, na ye da Christ. In the kind of area head, Apostle KBNG, and the district pastor, Yamia Dum, Yame and Chena, or Kofri and Sa Akon, Yadomunia Pastor Rejachi, the new Momona, then I said, Momo, district executives, evangelism ministry, in fact, or my idea, Pa, and a milk for your mamma, and Faumana, said the Ekas, or Mukrasri, or my boy, and Pa, Yadomas, or Muni, Jinamin Chain, or my intimaman, Yame and Shro Bibia, now one na a Wabon Teno, and so Enche, now Omo Mayo, or more aye, no more for Christ. Debi asi ama Christo udu omo a omo ma bonte enye basa basa yeda ubi bi asi nyami insha munyana amen. Me pa cho ofra me dekne jeneta de mensa na ene no di nsi ya yeba hani se yebe he yeman ma omo gani duya fiono. The sign says Hebrews chapter 13, verse 13, it says, Yanka won't know who need your phone. So, net say, and ya said, yes, sir, as a ma, a na, a na pa, your ban neighbor, your man. A woman saw on your mad and no more, your mamma, nurse, when you are a care man home, and see a bar, see a barber strawo, near the cruise to a mawo. Now, yes, you won't cry, said a mere pa, and so a woman. 
Mesdames